Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about 10 habits that millionaires have, almost every single millionaire. So I've done studying of millionaires, of billionaires, of extremely successful people. And one thing that you'll start to notice when you study successful people is that there seems to be a pattern that a lot of them have. And so what I've done is I've taken the 10 most prevalent habits, the ones that I see the most, the most common ones of millionaires, and I want to teach them to you. Because regardless of your craft, regardless of what you do or your profession, these 10 habits will not only help you in your business, they not will only help you make more money, they will just help you in life as well. So the first habit that I notice with a lot of millionaires is that they set their mind to mastering their craft. Whatever it is, they set their mind to mastering their craft. And it's... It's interesting because I was watching something the other day where it was uh, The Rock and he was talking to Dr Jason Strahan. They were at the Oscars. And it was interesting because I looked at both of them and realized for both of them, they have mastered one thing and then moved on to the next thing and mastered that as well. And so with The Rock, you know, he started off, he went to college at the University of Miami. He played football for them. After that, he became a professional wrestler for TV. And then after that, he became... A, uh, actor and he's the highest paid actor out of last year then you have Jason Strahan who is another guy who didn't play football until he was a junior in, in high school then got a scholarship to go to college went into the NFL and then went into the NFL and won a Super Bowl and uh, then after that went on to Good Morning America and he's he's mastered a couple different things and one thing that they all do is they set their mind on mastering their craft. They put a lot of really hard work into whatever it is. They crave mastery, the 10,000 hour rule. They do as much as they possibly can to get as good as they possibly can and as short of amount of period as they possibly can as well. So that's the first thing that you have to realize is they master their craft. The next thing that I've actually noticed with a lot of successful people is that they exercise. I personally believe that the gym and exercising is very much equivalent to life and success, right? Because there's always reasons why you can't go to the gym. There's always excuses you can give yourself on why you should eat that pasta or that pizza. But there's also other reasons, and that's the gym. If you think about life as well, there's always reasons why you shouldn't wake up early. There's always reasons why you shouldn't make cold calls or do what you're supposed to do. And so they exercise. The reason why is because... They, it gives you a healthy mentality, number one. It gives you a healthy body. And the more in shape that you are, the more energy you have, the more energy they have to go every single day. And it releases stress to go to the gym as well. So the second thing is that they like to exercise. The third thing, which is a huge thing, is that they read every single day. That's an interesting thing, is that the people who are the most successful are constantly trying to make themselves better. Which is crazy because you have people in this world that aren't to where they want to be. They're not in the place that they want to be. And they don't read. They don't improve themselves. They don't work on personal growth or self-development. Warren Buffett is said to, have re said to read eight hours a day. The third richest man in the world reads eight hours a day in order to improve himself. How much are you reading throughout the day? So read every day. The next thing that has to do with that is that they never stop learning. They can constantly make themselves a sponge. One of the reasons why people who are successful are constantly learning is because they know that they can always get better. They don't have a fixed mindset. They have a growth mindset. They're challenging themselves to get better. They're challenging themselves to get better in whatever it is that they do, whatever field that they're in. And then when you see people that are switching fields, like I was saying like Jason Strahan or like The Rock, those two guys, they never stop learning. They're constantly reaching out to people. They constantly have mentors, whether they're paid mentors or whether they're mentors who are friends of theirs that are helping them improve and they're constantly learning and getting better. The next thing that I've found with successful people and with millionaires is that they are very good planners. Most people don't like to plan. I personally don't like to plan, but I force myself to do it because I know that it needs to be done. Whether it's you know planning your entire week on a Sunday or super simple thing, which if you want to start planning, this is the easiest way to do it. Wake up a little bit earlier every single morning and just plan out your day. Plan out the most important things that have to be done that day. And if you get nothing else done, as long as you get those most important things done, you will have a successful day. 
The next thing that I've noticed is that they set goals for themselves and their goals are very specific, right? They don't say I want to make a million dollars or they don't say I want to make more money this year. They say I want to make a million dollars this year or a million dollars this month or whatever it is. They set very specific goals for themselves and they write it down. Most people don't know their exact goals. They're not extremely clear on what they want for their goals. And then they don't even write it down. So they set goals for themselves and they work daily, weekly, monthly towards those goals. Another huge thing is that they wake up early. Jack Dorsey, who's the guy who started Twitter, he's known to wake up at 5 or 6 a.m. If you go through and look at the people who are the most successful in the world and you look at their habits of what time they wake up, I could give you a laundry list of people who wake up every single morning early, five, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, right? The reason why is because they're up when nobody else is up, when it's quiet and they could be the most productive in that time. The next thing is that they also keep a journal. They take all of their thoughts, everything that's running through their brain and they put it down on a piece of paper. The reason why that's extremely important, I didn't used to journal, but I force myself to journal every single day now. And it's not like a diary, but I take everything that's running through my brain and put it on a piece of paper and try to use that to help myself plan for the week for the day, for the month, and for the year, is they, they keep a journal of exactly what's going on in their life, what they need to improve at, how they're working to improve themselves, and that's how they're pushing themselves to become better as well. So they keep a journal. The next one is that they actually schedule free time. This was huge for me because I personally used to think that if I wasn't where I wanted to be in life, if I wasn't where I wanted to be in life, well then I don't deserve to have a weekend off, or I don't deserve to have a night off. And it was up until I read a book called The One Thing where they said you have to schedule your free time. You have to schedule free time in, and the reason why is because if you have free time, you will be more productive when you go in and actually start working. Otherwise, you'll burn yourself out. I used to work 110 hours a week. I will never go back to that ever again, I promise you that. But they schedule their free time, they schedule their vacations so that they can relax, they can recharge, and then when they go back into working, they can work really hard at it and get everything done. So they're actually more productive by taking time off. And the last one, the interesting thing is that they are frugal. Most people think that in millionaires, they go out and they buy the most expensive things, but there's a great book called The Millionaire Next Door. And in that book, they talk about how the average millionaire is actually just your next door neighbor. There's someone who makes okay money, but they were smart with their money. They learned how to save. They learned that they don't need to buy new things all the time. They don't need to go out and buy a $100,000 car even if they've got that money saved. And they've realized that frugality is what they really work towards. They, they're somebody who buys what they need and then they don't buy what they don't need. And they save money and guess what? That's why they retire at 40 years old is because the fact that they've worked really hard, they saved really hard up until 40 and instead of working until 65, 70 years old, you know, they can eventually retire if they want to at 40 because they have enough money saved. They've been planning. Now, that being said, most of them don't retire. And the reason why is because they love what they do. They love pushing themselves, but they have the opportunity to. And so that's what you have to realize. Those are the 10 most common habits that I've found from successful millionaires. If you happen to know of any, reach out to me. Let me know if there's anything that you feel that I missed. Uh, but I hope that with this, you click the subscribe button. And uh, if you are interested in learning more about millionaires, I run a webinar called The Mindset of a Millionaire where I teach not only the steps and what they do, but I also teach what goes on in their mind as well. And you can access that by going to mwfmotivation.com webinar where it is free. But with that, I hope you have an amazing day.